Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and it's the 19th of December, 2022. Uh, tomorrow, our brand new course uh, for online agencies who want to use this very specific marketing model to sell high-end services and teach people either in your niche or your local community and use education marketing to sell those services. This opens uh, around noon on the 20th. So you'll have access to a whole bunch of walkthroughs and workflows and PDFs uh, like the one I'm about to show you here. So this is very, very simple stuff. Actually, you can, the course is being delivered on Gumroad, uh, not within our uh, Mindful Marketplace private community. So you'll have access to all these PDFs and audios. You can ask me uh, anything, get specific one-on-one -on -one support by dint of asking me questions and I'll record audio uh, customized answers directly for you. But one of the things that I wanted to cover really quickly, uh, one of the maps, the uh, sort of marketing maps that we're covering in the course is really, really simple. I want this to be accessible to everyone, whether you can uh, join us or not, but this is a pretty simple four-step uh, process. We're going to look at it right here. It's Really, this is the entire marketing uh, strategy, the entire process for selling high-end services using this very, very easy, ethical, and quite irresistible uh, model. So you need one, an ideal audience, two, an irresistible offer, three, an ideal outreach, and then four, uh, you know, a link to the course, the cohort, the community where you're demonstrating and teaching the actual thing, right? So again, if you haven't watched the other videos in this series, it explains this in a lot more detail. So I recommend you check those out if this feels completely, so if you're not really following what I'm uh, recommending you do. But if you did, if you have, as I know some of you uh, already uh, have watched those, uh, simply just look at the descriptions below and you'll see a little marketing map that uh, will make some sense to you. So step number one, you need to start with an ideal audience or a quintessential client. And essentially you just ask yourself like, you know, who do you want to work with, right? I mean, who would be the perfect profession uh, uh, or person for this specific offer and why. Now, the good news is this particular offer is pretty much good for every uh, niche under the sun. Although in fairness, there are some sort of markets and niches and uh, verticals that are more appealing than others, right? So, I mean, while you're going to be creating these one-page uh, landing page style websites for your clients that they can actually you know, use on social media to promote their or to showcase their reviews, their testimonials, et cetera, et cetera. It's, you know, if you're living in a community that has like tons and tons of good restaurants with really shitty landing pages or websites, clearly this is a better idea than promoting it to plumbers, let's say, who in your community aren't really web savvy, right? So while all businesses that get reviews are a potentially a great clients or great potential uh, clients or, an, or, or a great audience for this specific offer, pick in a starting audience that you want to work with that makes sense to you and that has some empirical appeal. The good news is you can also change it if the starting audience isn't really one that's converting as well as you like. You just change, you switch, you know, this is very flexible, but you have to start somewhere and everyone is not an audience, right? You don't want to like, you know, whether you're working in a local community or whatever, you don't want to like go from accountants to um, financial advisors to realtors to sushi restaurants to contractors to builders to you know dentists i mean you want to start with one ideal audience and focus there for at least a short time right get clear be honest and again to the best of your ability use empirical data like i just said is this a town or a community or a niche that is really has a need for better uh, sort of web branding right and you know if again if all you're looking at is a bunch of plumbers or um, electricians or whatever as a starting niche that may not be your best entrepreneur entrepreneurial intuition at work. So, you, you know, you might want to shift and go into another um, either area or, you know, audience. All right. So let's go to the irresistible offer. 
what would make this irresistible, right? So compliments and specificity are key when you're doing, you know, when you're creating the offer and when you're doing the outreach, which I cover here as well. You know, so a special invitation or an opportunity is a great way of framing this. Let's say you're building a community in your local uh, town of all of the five-star uh, rated restaurants or, you know, pizza places or you know, accountants or realtors or the best of the best. And essentially your offer is going to be, you want to show this, uh, you know, audience how they can make the most of all of their five-star reviews, right? So if it's a realtor who's got, you know, 200 fantastic reviews on Yelp or a psychic medium or a life coach or a dentist, right? And they're using currently, they're sending their traffic to some very tepid, stale looking link in bio or link tree style page. Well, guess what? You can actually offer an empirical before and after style improvement that's quite obvious. It's ethical and it's apparent, right? You're not selling something that is like gimmicky. So, you know, the good example here would be something like how many pizza places, you know, do you find that have really great reviews, but they're promoting a DoorDash uh, landing page, you know, because they don't have their own website or they have a menu or a PDF or some sort of, some sort of really sort of shitty online branding and representation, right? So the day after you intercede in that in their life by teaching them what you're going to be teaching them, they're going to have a card landing page with a hundred reviews that are auto updating on the landing page by dint of the testimonial a script that you have embedded on the card. Again, if this isn't clear to you, just go back and watch some of the other videos because I've covered this uh, in the lead up to this course. All right. This has to have empirical value, should be non-gimmicky, should be obvious, ethical, etc. And most important, remember, we're using education marketing here to sell services and earn an affiliate income. So it has to be something that could be taught and demonstrated easily easily by you in this final step. All right, so let's go back. Uh, step number three is the ideal outreach. It has to be authentic and entrepreneurial altruism is amazingly effective here, right? So essentially what you're going to be doing is teaching a process where they can do this for themselves. That is the offer. That's the invitation that you're making. You're not selling anything. You're going to be teaching something much the way I'm teaching something here. What you are teaching will empirically improve your client's their business and their branding, right? It's quite obvious. Again, if Joe's Pizza has a PDF on his or her or their a Facebook page, Instagram page, Twitter, et cetera. And that's how they're, they're selling a menu, like as a landing page with a phone number versus a landing page that showcases the fact that Joe's Pizza or Jane's Pizza makes the best pizza in, you know, this part of New York City or this part of Chicago or this part of Kansas or this part of Cleveland, et cetera. You know, there's a clear, obvious difference in the you know, in, in the value of, or in the branding, let's say, uh, before and after you teach them this thing, right? Again, it's, it, this is very, very simple business 101, but it's important to remember that you're not like hustling something here. You're actually using education and teaching your ideal audience, your quintessential client, how to legitimately and ethically transform their branding with a course, right? Or, or a cohort or a community, much like I do every day with these videos, all right? And then step number uh, four is that you're going to link to the course, the cohort and the community where you're actually demonstrating how to do the very thing that offers the rock star result that we've covered, that you're, you're, you're not selling this, you are educating. And the key is you're going to monetize only a small percentage of your audience at this stage, maybe even ever, but that's all you need to succeed, right? The sales pitch is going to be subtle and it's best done through something like a uh, you know, we'll do it for you. Let's see if I have it here. Yeah, here. So in this module in our, uh, in, in our, in our own course, LMS, you know, there's a we'll do it for you section, right? And that's the last piece that just very gently recommends that those who really want to have this done 
but don't have the time or interest or inclination to do it for themselves, but are really excited about going from a menu landing page or a really bad link in bio page or a website they haven't updated in 11 years to having a great landing page with all of their testimonials curated in one place, you're going to offer to do it for them. And a small percentage are going to say yes. I'm not telling you that 80% are going to want to pay, you know, a thousand or two thousand dollars for that service, but a small percentage will. And the more important piece is you're going to be including affiliate links prominently positioned in the course content in a very ethical and obvious way. And the reason you do it like that is because you're showing something, you're showcasing a process that uses an outside tool, in this case, the testimonials software to facilitate the end objective, which is the landing page that you're selling on card or that you're demonstrating using card and the script that pulls all the testimonials and reviews from Amazon, Yelp, Instagram, YouTube, you know, product hunt, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So, you know, you can't do the demonstration if you're not actually using and showcasing the actual tools that actually do the heavy lifting to give folks the result that they want. Right. So obviously you're going to be using your affiliate link within the course in a prominent way and you're going to get a lot of folks who are going to be clicking on those links to learn more about the software that you just demonstrated to do the thing that you're teaching right and the key also for more advanced users here i'm not telling you that you need to do this i certainly do it uh use tracking links right so you can track and um, you know, measure the clicks you're getting from where, from which sections. You can optimize, improve, you can tweak and critique the way that the clicks are happening, where they're happening within the course. Are they happening at the top? Are they happening at the bottom? You can see which ones are converting the best, all by dint of using free tracking link software. And the other thing, of course, is you can redirect that traffic later using a different affiliate program if the one that you're using to promote in the course isn't converting as well as you'd like, right? It makes total sense if, you know, you send 200 visitors to ABC, uh, you know, testimonial software and it's just not converting and people, you know, just kind of like aren't like, you know, buying that software. Well, then all you have to do is go back to the original tracking link and then make a change to a different program. And all those links that are embedded on your courses everywhere, you know, will automatically forward to the appropriate program, the new program that you're testing now as a contrast to the one that wasn't working before. In this case, for this particular offer, the software that we'll be using is the best testimonial software there is. So you probably won't need to do much of that. But, you know, there are lots of other opportunities to teach new courses on new topics and new processes that we're going to cover in the course also. So you want to, you know, you're going to have lots of opportunities to scale and rinse and repeat this process in a whole bunch of fun, creative, and, you know, hopefully very profitable ways for you and your business. Okie doke. So hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, again, if you want to join the course, it's here. The price will be, uh, it's $79 right now. It's going to go up tomorrow on the 20th when we launch. Uh, it'll be available. It's actually available to buy right now, but the course content will be available uh, tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. And then I'll be adding uh, lots of content over the course of the next month or so, but you'll have lots and lots of opportunity to ask me questions and to get feedback on your particular uh, brand, your unique business, your challenges, you know, whatever is holding you back per se. Um, so, you know, again, if you're interested in joining us, I'm very confident that this will be a really great experience for you going forward into 2023 and beyond. All these will be available via PDFs. Um, and all sorts of other good stuff as well. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. You've heard me say that a million times. That's our uh, slogan for our community. And that really is the underlying ethos that I'm recommending you use as well. Teach what you know, do what you love, and essentially empower your audience through service, information, and opportunity, right? That's a really effective way of selling services 
teaching content, leading a community and building really goodwill, real goodwill with, you know, folks who will be incredibly appreciative for having stumbled into your entrepreneurial orbit. Okie doke. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. If you want to join, again, the price is pretty, pretty good, I think, uh, and it'll go up tomorrow. So I'd love to have you join us today. Thanks.